afternoon, everyone. Bill Simons here with Columbia Grain in your Friday afternoon weekly market recap. This week was no exception to the rule of high volatility in the commodity markets, with this week's price action stemming from the latest data dump from the USDA and their monthly supply and demand numbers. A late shot in the arm to the futures markets was hit today as tensions on the Russian-Ukraine border raised its hand, jolting the grain markets into the late day in the session. The numbers this week on the supply and demand really did come in line with the pre-report estimates, but the tug of war started on Thursday when Conab released their expected Brazil soybean production numbers. Conab slashed the Brazil soybean production estimates by 15 million metric tons from their January number, bringing their estimates down to 125 million metric tons. Now this is in comparison to the USDA number that was released just the day before at 134 million metric tons. So you can see that the tug of war over the potential Brazil soybean production is in full swing. I just wanna take a look at the highlighted numbers from this week's supply and demands a little bit closer on paper. So I'm gonna share my screen with you here uh, so we can see where the 2020-2021 production was in Brazil soybeans coming in at 138 million metric tons. You can see this over on the right-hand side of the screen here. Now the average trade estimate from Wednesday's report, uh, pre-report anyway, was at 133 million metric tons. When the USDA released their numbers, we can see from February that they came out at 134 million metric tons. Conab on Thursday, in a little bit of a contrasting fashion, came out with their numbers at 125.7 million metric tons. So you can see where the tug of war is coming from in terms of the overall expected production uh, in Brazil for their soybeans. So that did have some ram ramifications in the futures markets here this week. Now let's kind of dive into some of the, the price action that we saw uh, in the futures markets at least. Uh, but let's start with corn. So we can see on the, on the left-hand side of the screen, on Monday, we opened up the nearby corn pit at 628, and we closed today at 651. So you can see where the weekly high was along with the weekly low, but over on the right-hand side, we can see that the weekly price range in the nearby corn pit was 38 cents. When the dust settled today, the net weekly change, we gained 23 cents on the week. Switching gears over to the wheat complex, we can see that Chicago opened up on Monday at 776, closing the day out today at 797, giving us a weekly price range on the right-hand side of the screen of 52 cents and actually holding on to 21 cents of that gain. Kansas City wheat opened up on Monday at 796, closing today out at 824 having a weekly price range of 54 cents on the week and actually holding on to 28 cents of that net change. Minneapolis wheat opened up on Monday at 918, closing the day out today at 956, having an overall weekly price range of 69 cents and net weekly change holding on to 38 cents by the time that the dust settled here today. Probably the largest swing that we saw this week did come again in terms of soybeans. Uh, Monday, we opened up at 1571, closing today out at 1583. The wild ride this week really did come in what the price range was. We had an overall price range in soybean market of 74 cents with a net weekly change of just 12 cents. So you can see that the price volatility is definitely gonna continue uh, as we move forward. And this, is, this week has been a, a prime example of the importance of knowing what your cost of production is so that you can build a, a plan around those values to help you take advantage of the market swings that are really in your favor. So give us a call and we can get those orders out there working for you. Stay tuned over the weekend as the markets are gonna continually closely monitor what any activity is over the weekend in the Russia and Ukraine as the, as the tensions continue to mount there uh, really to new heights. And remember, everyone has a marketing plan that won't work. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll talk with you next week.